And we did have one donation come in from DD Gaming for $20 saying, needed to donate during my boys Mooney and Molly race. Keep up the good work, guys. Thank you, DD, for that donation. And it was, it was a very, very good entertaining race. Ah, and here we are with that sweet Mega Man 2 music. And it looks like we are off. So we're going into Flashman first. This is definitely the marathon safe route that we've got here. Uh, Air First is the fastest route if you play optimally, but uh, it is incredibly dangerous, incredibly reset heavy, and so in a marathon, Flash is definitely the way you want to go. Just going down easy, gets the nice drop shot on the tin cans. Flashman's also a really nice uh, beginning stage because there's not a ton of, of technical things you have to do, uh, but it's just a couple, couple short timing jumps and shots, but other than that, it's just, it just lets you get warmed up and kind of get into the run without, without too much risk. So Flashman here is going to pretty much run at you and shoot occasionally after he freezes the screen. Of course, uh, Cosmic is good enough to kill Flashman before he froze it all. And now we get to the one downside <laughs> of the English Mega Man 2, and that, or the US Mega Man 2, and that is the incredibly long weapon get screens. And right on time, thank you, HJA, with the $20 donation. So excited for the Mega Man block. Good luck, Cosmic. I was kind of hoping we'd have something there to, to fill the time. But we are into Air Man. Uh, Airman is, like I said earlier, a really tough stage uh, to do optimally and fast without the flash stopper. It makes this beginning part much, much easier if you do have the flash stopper. You also notice Cosmic do a little pause buffer there. He jumped over the, the one spike and then paused and switched his weapon. Every time you pause, uh, it resets Mega Man's vertical velocity. And so it kind of lets you get further horizontally and you got over that spike really easily with that pause. Here we see some nifty movement and jumping. One pause buffer. I'm not sure if he needed it. It would have been close. But he used that pause buffer again just to make sure he was, he was going to make that ledge and not fall into the pit. Ooh, and he does take a death. Ooh, so what you saw there, he was doing what's called ledge jumping, or edge jumping, uh, where he's actually, there's a little, there's a couple pixels where you can actually stand and not get hit by the spikes there. 
And that's how, if you didn't have the the flash stopper, you would have had to do those ledge jumps on every single one of those beginning. Uh, I don't even know what those things are called. The spike guys. Uh, they they are <laughs> they're incredibly difficult to do and. Cosmic got the first one, but yeah, then the second one just went a little too far right. He's coming up to Airman. Airman has five different shot patterns that he can do, and it's completely random based off of, I believe, the frame that you enter the, the boss room. There are a few that, that you want to see. That one right there, that third one that he got, is the worst one. But he doesn't have too much trouble with it. Gets right through it. And that donation from HJA, he will be running Mega Man 9 in just a couple games. Yet again, another item get screen. As you can imagine, getting the three items uh, will allow us to do a lot of different speed tech to go through the stages faster. And so they're going to be some of our earlier stages to try to get as many of these items as possible. Heatman has the third one and we will be going there in just a few stages. So on to Quickman. Quickman is, I think, Probably the worst casual stage because it has the, the two laser sections and Every single person that I think I've ever talked to about this game. It's always in the robot masters It's 100% the lasers everyone hated it and when we get to Wiley to the Wiley stages It was always uh, Wiley 4 which I mean in the speed run that's still the same case but. At least in the speed run, Quick Man is usually not as difficult. So these lasers are one hit kills. If Cosmic gets touched by one, Mega will not be happy. Those are troll uh, items there. It is possible to get one and not die, but usually you don't want to go for that. You don't want to go for that one up unless for some reason there's a really good reason you need it. Now we're coming to Quickman, who is a very frenetic, crazy boss. He's just going to jump around up to three times and then he will run straight at and through Mega Man and just repeat that over and over and over again. And once again, Cosmic doesn't have any troubles with that one. You can get Quick Man out of the way pretty easily because you don't use any of the items and you don't need a special weapon to kill him. So he, so Quick Man can pretty much be inserted wherever you want in the level rotation. And we are now on to Mega Man, or Mega Man, Metal Man. And we're gonna use the Flash Stopper right through this entire beginning part to get through all of these uh, crushers. They are very, very painful to have to sit and wait through, and so having the flash stopper here is really, really good. Also, all of these drills that are coming out of the ground, uh, Cosmic did a really good job avoiding them. It is really easy to get hit by one. If you do the same thing every time, you'll get through the exact same way. Uh, but if you make a mistake, it can become a really big trial to try to get through them because they start coming from everywhere. And it seems like any place you want to actually land, they will fall. Does a really good job getting under that second gear guy. That's a that's a pretty tough jump to actually get, get under and uses item two to pretty much fly through most of the rest of the stage. 
He was also jumping off the screen to be able to avoid the the gear guys dropping down from the top, which is good work. And now we're to Mega or Metal Man. I don't know why I want to keep calling him Mega Man. So Metal Man will stay on his side of the screen as long as you don't come across halfway. He will also not shoot at you unless you hit the shoot button. The quick shot, quick boomerang, has the property where you can hold the button and it will keep shooting. And so what Cosmic does is as the screen is transitioning to the boss, he will actually hold the shoot button down the entire time and never let go. That way, Metal Man will not actually shoot because you're not pressing the shoot button while, while you are in the boss chamber. And so as long as you just do that, go to the just left of the middle and start hopping, it'll be good. And now we are coming upon the stage that kills the bitrate for every single stream ever. We are at Bubble Man. And he used a really nice item too there at the beginning to skip that whole first screen. And now we get our first dose of water physics in the game, which is just like most other other Megas, uh, you jump a lot higher, and of course, because this is a water stage, or a space stage, or anything where gravity is different, there are spikes on the ceiling. If you touch those spikes, you will die, and the spikes are the devil. Everyone hates the spikes. You got through that part really well, as long as he gets through this jump in the next section he is done with the spikes okay we should be good now it's just avoiding some fallen crabs and we are on to bubble man I'm not sure the reason for this it might be because of the fact that it's in the water and it slows down time or gravity or something but uh, Bubble Man actually takes a really long time to despawn and have Mega Man leave the screen after he, he gets killed. It's, a, it's about two or three seconds longer than all the other Robot Masters. Uh, Cosmic has a really, really good fight there. Bubble Man lasts about two seconds. When we did have $20 in coming from Young Jack Daddy. And he said, had to support all the runners and community for this event. Great job, everyone. Thank you, Young Jack. And we are on to Heat Man. Colt did say that he thinks it might be from the, the delay in the Bubble Man stage leaving, might be from the bubble animations that Mega Man has. And so that that's interesting. I could see that, yeah. Cosmic does take an unfortunate death. The, the ground is lava. And yep, just like the spikes, lava is a one-hit kill. It is very, very easy to miss a jump and fall in there. Not a big deal, though. Very minimal time save because he was pretty close to the beginning of the stage. Uses the pause buffer again there to, to make it over that gap. If you just fall off that gap, you will actually fall in the pit, but with the pause buffer, he makes it over no problem. Misses that item too, but really nice backup, not missing a cycle there. Heat Man is one of the stages that definitely has, uh, is, is one of the hardest to do optimally on Zipless. There's just a lot of precise item 2 placements that you need to do. Cosmic gets through there really, really well. And thankfully, in Zipless at least, you can skip all these Yoku blocks. In any percent, you don't have the item 2 yet, and so you have to jump across all those. But yay Zipless. And that, that's another interesting distinction between Zipless and any percent on Heatman, is the part with the item twos 
where we were doing all those precise pl item placements and jumps, that's simple on any percent because you just zip through the ceiling. But then the, the hard part on any percent is, is trivial on Zipless. It's interesting. So Heatman will shoot three uh, projectiles that, are, that end up shooting up in the air uh, when they hit the ground. And then he'll charge at you after you hit him. And on normal mode, he only takes three shots with bubble. And so Cosmic makes really quick work of Heatman. And we get our third and final item. Plus Atomic Fire. I mean, that does sound like a pretty, pretty cool item name. Well, I, I didn't necessarily say it was useful. I just said it had a really cool name. But yeah, outside of outside of a couple places, you don't really use Heatman's weapon at all. But one of those places we will use it is the Woodman fight. Okay, so because Cosmic is choosing not to item 2 through this screen, uh, I'm hoping he's going to be going for the Harambe rune skip with item 2. So there we use one of our uses of, of the uh, Heatman's weapon. Once the dog or wolf despawns, you can you, you can run past it and activate Flashman's Time Stopper, which will uh, actually let you skip the next two wolves. And really good item two movement there. If you actually jump past, like, above the screen so Mega Man disappears and then you grab a ladder, you'll get a little boost in the next room, so that's good. Yep, and he is going for this. This is a really tricky... Uh, kind of technique there or movement there and he did that really really well it's a it's a very i think underrated and difficulty move there and these these jumps over the uh the bunnies are also really really tight i think you only have like four or so uh pixels that you can jump and he gets the the in the ground bird Yeah, that was a really, really good wood stage. And one shot from Heatman's weapon, the atomic fire, will kill Woodman. So, I mean, even though he is Woodman, he ended up getting a Leaf Shield. Doesn't really have a lot to do with wood, but... It is... I, I find that, that that weapon is probably underused casually, but it, it can be very valuable for a casual playthrough. And we're now on Crashman and... Crash probably has the most technical movement of any of the Robot Masters. Really good work through the stage so far. He's going to be using a lot of item 2s in this first half of the stage, and then he's going to be switching over and using a lot of item 3s in the second half of the stage. As well as a couple screens here with item 1s to use up all of his, or pretty much all of his item 1 usage. So he's getting through this a lot quicker than you would normally be able to without the items. And now we are getting to the climb section. Well, we've kind of been climbing this whole time, but the, the definitely the most difficult part of the climb section. Where you want to be placing item 3s at the exact right spot to be able to have them kind of sit in place. And that's a really tough thing to do. And so Cosmic is taking the 
the path of something that's just a tiny, tiny bit slower, just by a few seconds, uh, but a lot safer and a lot less prone to errors. Another really, really good stage. We're gonna swap to air here because that is Crash Man's weakness. There is a way that you can, if you run and jump at the exact right time and shoot, you can one cycle Crash Man here. And he got it. Good, good job. This has been a, this has been a really good, a really good Robos. Uh, we had the one one death in Airman and one death in the Lava and Heatman. Both of them were either right after a checkpoint or right at the start of a stage, so we didn't lose much time at all. I think it was just over 19 minutes for the kill on Crashman, which is a very good time. And now we are on to the Wily stages. There are four Wily stages, and then a refights, and then the final stage with Wily. Uh, Wily 1 starts out here with these annoying birds again from Airman stage that drop the eggs, and naturally, a bird egg, when it hits the ground, like erupts into a dozen or so birds that just start flying all over the screen. I'm using item two here to get through this section really quickly. Birds are jerks. At least in this game, birds are jerks. Yo, big day! Walrus Prime with the raid. Thank you very much, man. Welcome everyone from Walrus' stream. We are watching Cosmic Wreck Mega Man 2 right now. So now we're getting to one of the more iconic bosses of Mega Man 1, and that is... I don't know, is his name Mecha Dragon? I actually don't know his name. The Dragon. And he goes down really, really easy to the Quick Boomerang. You get into this little auto-scroller section here before the boss. And that quickly, the Dragon is dead. There's a couple different ways to do that fight. Uh, Cosmic picked one that is just a few frames slower, but it's ultimately way, way safer. Because if you jump up to the top there, instead of walking off to the bottom, if you get hit by the, by the dragon's fire, you'll just fall back down to that middle ledge. And so it's it's really, really safe. That dragon haunted a lot of childhood still, though. I wouldn't feel too bad, man. On to Wily 2. We're going to have a, an item 2 section here over these spikes. And you can just reach that second ladder there. Grab a couple more that he can use in, in Wily 4 there, but then switches over to Time Stopper. Flash stop so he can avoid all of these drills here. Does a damage boost just so we can get through there a little quicker. And we are now falling into the boss chamber for Wily 2, which is approximately, I don't know, about 24, 24 little, little squares. And each one will come together in a pair and then form a little dude that you gotta shoot with two, uh, two metal blades. As they go, they start going faster and faster and after, well, after they form, they will go faster and faster shooting at you. 
Cosmic's health is a little low, he just wants to watch that and make sure that he's playing safe. And you need to make sure that it's formed before you actually shoot or it will bounce off. But we are through. Dying on that boss is a pretty rough death. It's a, the checkpoint is a ways back there. And so that would have been rough, but he got through good. Yeah, I mean, double KO is really swaggy, but I don't know if I'd do it in a marathon. On to Wily 3, which is definitely the shortest of the first four Wily stages. Uh, it is also the second stage that has water and spikes. And so Streiser is referring to the fish that can come out of these big gaps. And, ooh, zero fish. At least I didn't see any. Sometimes they come up, sometimes they don't. This spike falling section is another one that casually just destroys people. And on to a bulldozer. A mat dozer. And so we have to wait until right about there and once he gets a certain amount onto the screen you can kind of hit him in the head in the forehead area and it only takes I think seven quick boomerang shots to kill him and so I got an easy two jump there by Cosmic. Two jumps is above average for how many jumps it takes to kill him. Now on to by far the most hated stage of Mega Man 2 which is Wily 4. This first section, there's going to be a lot of item usage. Actually, I mean, almost through the entire stage, there'll be a lot of item usage to traverse it as quickly as possible. So that gap can be a little tough. That ladder can be a little tough to get into. But if you're actually holding like up left diagonal when you're when you're jumping up to it, you will grab it, uh, no problem. Whereas if you're just trying to jump and straight up and grab it can be a lot tougher. All right, the climbing section is over. Now we have a lot of spikes and moving platforms that we've got to deal with on the second third of the stage. That strat on that room is always really scary, I think, to watch. Doing it you don't get that scared because you have visual cues for like when you need to jump and you'll be fine. But watching you take damage or watching someone take damage and then run across the spikes there is just a scary thing to watch. Wow, nice grab on the very bottom of that ladder. Gets the item two placement perfect. And he's through. One more spike screen. And we are through. This hallway is pretty annoying to do in Zipless. These sniper Joes can be can get in your way really easily. And onto the Boo Beams boss, where Crash Bomb is the only thing that can destroy the green barriers as well as the Boo Beams. We had a nice first shot there. He actually placed it right in between the boob beam and the barrier, and it killed both of them. Same with that one. Nice, nice job. Doesn't quite get a damage transfer there. There's something you can do at the very end with those last two, where if you take damage from the top one in a, in a certain way, you can run around down to that last one, and when you take damage with it, it will transfer the damage uh, that the, the top one is taking and also kill the bottom one. Yeah, it was a really good boss fight. Okay, on to the refights. 
quick man is first. You're going to see uh, Cosmic probably go through these in the order that's going to minimize weapon changes during this. confused when we went to the Buster, but that was just a... went up one too, too far. Oh, okay. That was still, that was still good. If you, there's a couple of the five patterns that Airman gives you that you can actually switch to his weakness, which is the Leaf Shield. Um, but a couple of them, it's just, it's really, really difficult to be able to, to hit him with it, so it's not worth it. Now we're going to just be using Metal on these last three, because Metal is the overpowered weapon of Mega Man 2. <laughs> it's my, my favorite boss. It, Metal Man will actually just be killed by one Metal Blade. Makes easy work of Flash Man, and now we've got the Wily Machine, which has two phases. This first phase, he's just going to blast a bunch of Metal Blades at it. And then if that wasn't enough, we're going to blast a bunch of Metal Blades at it. Makes really, really quick work of the Wily Machine. And we are on to the last stage of the game. Wily 6. It's really creepy. There's no sounds other than the acid dropping from the ceiling. But you saw Cosmic, as he was falling, he went all the way to the right side of the screen. By doing that, it actually doesn't keep Mega Man in the um, in the middle of the screen like it usually does, and so you can actually run straight through all of the acid, which is really really handy. Because otherwise, it would take a lot of time to stop and wait for. Him. Now we have Wily, which incidentally he's actually an alien, and Bubble is the only weapon that will actually hurt him. And if you touch Wily, the alien, uh, you will take an enormous amount of damage. And so Cosmic wants to avoid that at all costs. And time is coming up right here, and that looks like a 31-32. Really good time for Cosmic. With two deaths, I think... Without those deaths, that was probably very, very close to a PB. Checking with really yeah, his PB was 30.58, and so he was only 34 seconds off his PB. That was a really, really good run. But awesome run, Cosmic. That was a lot of fun watching. Brings back a lot of nostalgia for me, both. Uh, Throughout my childhood, I played a ton of Mega Man 2, and yeah, it was my first speed game, so it, it, it has a special place in my heart. Yeah, let's throw out those GG's for Cosmic, that was a good run. And up next, we are going to have Mega Man 7. So we're going to jump ahead a few iterations of the Mega Man Classic series. Uh, Mega Man 7 was on the SNES, and we're going to have Vivictus BR running it. And so we will be right back. <laughs> 